Welcome. Today I'm going to show you a, um, a very easy way that you can check if your racing transponder is producing a signal uh, just using an AM radio. Firstly we'll just turn the radio on and you'll hear that it's on a radio station. Then what you want to do is turn it off station so you're not picking up the station at all. And then you want to bring in your transponder. The first one we're going to try is a Tranex uh, 260 or uh, one that's used in full-size motorsports. So you can hear that radio inf interference that it produces. That means that there's a signal coming from it. Get, there's a variety you can try it on. There's also here's an MX transponder used in uh, motocross. You can notice that the, the tonality of that is different because it's working on a different frequency. Next we'll try a, um, an old style karting transponder, a Tran X160. And of course you could also uh, test that on a, a hard wide one but I don't have any power to this one so you won't hear anything. Now that all looks pretty easy to do at home so you can confirm whether your transponder is putting out a signal or not. When you send your transponder to transponder services for repair, uh, I use a bit more sophisticated test which is using a, a signal strength meter and as you can see this Tranax 260 is putting out a very strong signal which is what you need in high speed motorsports. Uh, with the MX used in motocross, uh, it doesn't need to be as strong, and so you can see it's putting out a moderate signal. The uh, Tranex 160 used in karting will put out an even lower signal because uh, karting is much slower. So all your transponders that I repair are fully checked for signal strength, and they're also checked on a decoder to make sure that it's putting out a correct hit on the timing system. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your racing.